I'm going to show you how to optimize the browse abandonment flow in Klaviyo to drive more revenue and also provide a better customer experience as well and why you should go beyond the default settings to optimize this flow. So let's have a look at the default settings first and I'll, I'll explain why you should tweak these to drive more revenue. So people will trigger the browse abandonment flow when they view a product quite straightforward and the specific flow filters or if somebody started a checkout zero times since starting this flow and placed an order zero times since starting this flow. And this is to prevent people from receiving, for example, a court abandonment email and going into the browse abandonment simultaneously. And likewise, if somebody places an order, then you don't want them to receive a browse abandonment email for a pro product that they've just viewed. There's an additional filter here, which I do recommend keeping on, and that is they haven't been in the flow in the last 30 days because you don't want people to continuously trigger this flow every time they view a product. So the way to mitigate this is with this filter to ensure that they don't re-enter it. Now, the problem with this is that this happens quite commonly, is when you buy a product, you're likely to go back onto the website and view that product again. I would say around one in two customers do this. And the issue is because they've placed the order and then they come back and view a product, then they trigger the flow and then they are most likely to receive this follow-up email. Now, because of this, Clavio recommends having the smart sending feature on, which mitigates them receiving too many emails in a certain amount of time, the customer. The problem with this is that they may not have received any email before this. They may have just placed an order for the first time and you might not have a post purchase flow set up. But also if you keep this setting switched on, then you're missing out on a lot of revenue that you can trigger from the browse abandonment flow on campaigns. So one of the ways we use the browse to drive additional revenue is we send email campaigns and then the customer clicks through from a newsletter views a product and they receive this additional touch point from the browse bandman flow. And you don't want to miss sending this because it does drive a lot of revenue and is a really nice touch point. And if smart sending switched on, the likelihood is that they're not going to receive this follow up email. So first thing you need to do is disable the smart sending on this. Switch it off. Now you might be wondering, Okay, but people are going to trigger this flow too often. Now, the way to get around this and to keep the additional revenue through triggering this email is to add an additional flow filter in here. So I'm just going to move my face and then I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to add an additional filter here and it's going to be when someone has placed order zero times in the last seven days. So then if somebody views a product, triggers the flow, but they've recently placed an order, then they're not going to enter and receive that first email, even if smart sending is disabled. And that is the best way we found to drive additional revenue from the browse bandman flow and maintain a good customer experience. So hope this helps. Just to recap, disable a smart sending and add that additional filter on the flow to stop customers who purchase and then go back and view the product from receiving this flow too many times.